Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, we're trying to get a window into the soul of Mike McCarthy and try and figure out what is it that they're going to be doing on offense and why we should have hope and think that it's going to be better than when Kellen Moore was here. Now, let's just say we can all agree that personnel wise that we have better weapons to start the season than we did last year we, we we have to look at this and say brandon cooks is definitely better than noah brown and we can definitely say michael gallup uh, recovered is better than michael gallup was right there and you look at the deuce the the deuce vaughn the the wild thing as i'm going to call him from now on um the versatility of him and the speed and the elusiveness because you just can't see him he's so tiny he's so tiny that this offense can definitely be a lot quicker and more dynamic but here's where it's going to be really interesting because shout out to g-bag nation who had an interview with michael gallup uh, yesterday you can kind of get a window into the soul of what's going to happen with this offense and i want to play this because it's very very personal to me and as you can see my other shirt behind here because he my countdown shirt needs to get another star on there because july is over with now so we're getting closer and closer to that shirt being filled in but 12 personnel 12 personnel i love that package um because it gives you more versatility and with you having jake ferguson and um peyton hendershot and hopefully we get schoonmaker out there these will be guys that can catch the ball as well so you can line up where it looks like a running formation as we've talked about before with two tight ends in tight and all of a sudden you take tony pollard spread them out wide you know boom motion your tight ends to go out further and now you got five wide outs and that is the key on this thing and michael gallup takes it to a whole nother level where they're talking about using bunch formations where you're getting all the guys lining up and everybody goes in a different direction to confuse the defenses as well as speeding it up and using Dak. let's listen into what michael gallup had to say about it Cowboys sitting down here on the tennis courts with me. I was just making small talk before the uh, show started, getting a little bit more background information. But he is right now on the hot seat, the K-Post roofing and waterproofing hot seat, the roofing and waterproofing partner of the Dallas Cowboys, now in his sixth season with America's team. Number 13, sir, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Yes, sir. I appreciate you having me. And great job by the offense today. Does oh, it feel like this is coming together? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. We're getting the pads. It comes real. And, uh, you know, offense is stepping up, so uh, that's what we like to see. And we had our guys down here kind of doing a little play-by-play, -play, and it seemed like over the course of about four minutes, there was five or six touchdowns. Mm -hmm. They're really getting it in there. They don't talk about that, do they? Explosive. Do you, do you, is this going to be uh, different for the fans? Are there adjustments being made that is allowing you guys to have more success against the defense? How would you explain kind of what we've seen over the last two days now where, where the offense having a lot of success? I would definitely say just because everybody's playing a different position. Uh, I mean, you can just put people in any any spot, to be honest. You know, tight ends can line out wide. We can go on the inside. Um, so everybody's just playing, you know, every position on the field. So uh, to be honest, like the defense doesn't really know who to key in on anymore. Uh, it's not go. just one person they think is going to get the ball just because of our alignment. Uh, everybody's, you know, capable of scoring a touchdown and even getting play. Hmm. That that sounds amazing. Yeah, it know? really does. So what what are the what are the things you're enjoying now from this this new look, and and what are the things you like to to do when when the play is called in? Uh, I mean, really, just to uh, move around. Uh, you're not just you know me just uh, normally playing the X. You know, the last like five years, I'm not just stuck in the boundary anymore. I can go play the field. I can motion a little bit, uh, just to change it up. Uh, you know, move around a little bit more, be more free. Mm. Uh, so I think that's what I like the most uh, when I hear the play call come in. What about all the, the bunch sets that we're starting to see here? I mean, that's something we talked about a lot. You see that with other offenses throughout the league. We haven't seen it a ton during your time here, but we're noticing out on the practice fields. What kind of difference is that for you? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we got little Brandon Cooks, and we got CD. Uh, and then we got a little Brandon Cooks. Little, little Brandon Cooks. I'm getting Cooks. In the, uh, the mix a little bit, but, you know, just seeing it, it's like, you know, you can spray out, you can go yeah. in, folks can go under. It's a lot of mesh routes, a lot of people trying to play man. You just can't do that. Not bunch sets. It's too hard to cover us. Oh, absolutely. And I think it really I stood that. out during the two-minute drill. 
drill, that mojo moment, right? You guys went five for five during that two-minute drill. Dak was pinpoint, but it created just a ton of free room for the receivers to make plays. Yeah, definitely, especially when we're going to ball quick. Dak likes to go quick. That's when he's in his groove. Mm -hmm. There you go. Sitting there calling stuff. We're just moving fast. That's how he's wired. That's how he thinks. Uh, so, and especially with us, I mean, we're all just much speed guys, so we can move in and out any way you want to, and Dak knows exactly where to put the ball. You mentioned Brandon Cooks. What type of impact has he had on you personally and just this, uh, this offense in general? Man, Brandon Cooks is somebody you want to lock room. To be honest, I don't know how he's been on so many different teams. That <laughs> don't make no sense to me. I'd want him in my locker room, you know, all his years. But uh, he's just, he's a smart guy, savvy guy. Uh, the first day he came in, he was already teaching us, you know, just how to prepare yourself, how to, you know, train your body to be more consistent and stay, you know, relevant in this league. And he's been doing that for, what, 10 years now? So mm -hmm. I'm going to listen to whatever he's got to say. Hey, Michael, how, how glad are you to put last year behind you? You know, and some of the things that, yeah, and there was probably some things that you were going through with your rehab, and you and Britt Brown did a hell of a job even to get that thing back. I, matter of fact, you were on the court today. I saw you give Britt a hug, and you know, you two have that special bond. But how difficult was last year, and how grateful you are you to be in a whole different mindset going forward here? Uh, definitely, like you said, uh, I give all my thanks to Britt. Uh, he worked with me the whole off season, the last two years, and even now, it's like I still got to get you know warmed up by him. I don't even warm up with the guys over there uh, I let him do his thing but uh, just the patience that he had with me because I've never had an injury like that it was it was something I never had to go through but uh, getting last year behind me I mean there was good and there was bad you know coming back my first game I scored a touchdown it was right good next couple games it just didn't feel like MG still but uh, just to get that year you know get through it and come out healthy like right. I did uh, that was a big positive for me and that's you know big motivation that right. you needed so all right, so definitely watch the whole interview and stuff on there, but I wanted to touch on a couple of things. This is totally different than what we have been used to because I want you to think back with Des Bryant. Des Bryant basically had, and this is not Des Bryant's fault, this is the offense. Des Bryant was always outside and he had about five different routes. That's it. They didn't move anything around. Everything was more or less predictable. And this is where the Cowboys now have speed, you know, little little Brandon Cooks, as Michael Gallup will say, um, has speed and can have moves. You have a Deuce Vaughn who has speed and he's little. He's definitely little that they're going to be more versatile and using these bunch formations and different routes and stuff and disguising what they're doing, using 12 personnel, not only as a running formation, but also to go five wide outs. This will keep the defenses on their toes, not knowing what to expect from the Cowboys. I don't know about you, but I love everything that I'm hearing right now from training camp. Um, the only thing I don't like that I have not been hearing enough of is we're getting Zach Martin done and getting Zach Martin back here at practice field to get working with the team. But you start looking and putting this stuff together where you've got the speed, you've got this uh, situation where you can go through and change the style of what you're doing even though it's in a different formation. So you can do something totally different. And now teams have to respect the whole field. Unfortunately, last year, because we didn't have the speed guys, because Michael Gallup was still recovering, we did not get separation. We could not get downfield. We couldn't get the big plays that you would hope to get. Yes, we scored more points in the last two years than any other team with Dak Prescott. But we want more. And we want it in playoff time and this is where i'm beginning to start to buy in and believe what they're selling right now don't be fooled by you know the uh, talking heads and the eagle fans talking about oh there goes the dak prescott interception they're not focusing in on those five of five red zone plays are they they're not focusing in on the 10 touchdown passes are they they're not because they're scared all right, good people. I hope you're having a great day. My man, Game Time Brian, will be here in about two and a half hours. I look forward to seeing my buddy and definitely getting plenty of content out with him today. Enjoy your day. Tomorrow, it's going to get crazy. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you.